The only thing certain in life is death. You can't stop aging. And a lot of how you age, or how well you age, is determined by genetics. But what if I told you that you can slow down your aging process? What if I told you that there's a way that you can look younger than your years? Hi. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Matty, and I'm a male model and physiotherapist. And in this video, I will be sharing with you five steps to looking younger. So the first step is to protect yourself from the sun. You ever seen those pot-bellied 60-something-year-old men sitting or lying on the grass on a summer's day, their skin turning slightly red due to mild sunburn? You end up walking a little bit closer, and then you find out that they're not actually 60, but they're actually 40 years old. Sun damage. Over the years, UV damage accumulates under the surface of the skin, which can cause fine lines and wrinkles to develop, as well as issues with your pigmentation. Basically, over the years, UV damage accumulates and makes you look older. One way you want to combat this is to limit your exposure to the sun, and if you are in the sun, then wear SPF Factor 50 sun cream. Tip number two is to use retinol at night. So recently, I discovered the power of retinol, a derivative of vitamin A. When applied on your skin consistently at night, it can reduce fine lines, wrinkles, and acne scars. Essentially, it promotes skin cell production. It exfoliates the skin and increases collagen production, therefore reducing fine lines and wrinkles. I believe that retinol should be used as part of everyone's skincare routine. Step number three is exercise. You've probably heard this one before. Exercise is the closest thing that we have to a magic pill in terms of slowing aging. No man can stop the clock, but every man can slow its tick. Along with a myriad of health benefits, exercise has been found to be able to slow your aging. Not only this, but it will make the quality of your life better when you get old, because it's going to happen. National guidelines suggest two 60-minute strength training sessions a week, and at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise, or 75 minutes of vigorous activity a week. Or even better, a mixture of both. And if you're not a fan of the gym, that's fine too. You just have to find things that you enjoy doing. Take Jason Momoa, for instance. He dislikes the gym, but he will go rock climbing and bouldering several times a week for hours on end. Climbers are crazy strong. They have great forearm, bicep, and back development. Step number four is diet. If your body is a machine, you want to make sure that you're putting the right nutrients into it. It is known that eating healthy, eating the right foods, eating whole foods, eating clean will improve your health and therefore the quality of your life. Have you ever eaten an entire Domino's pizza to yourself and just felt dreadful afterwards? That's because all the stuff in the Domino's pizza is not healthy. It's just a bunch of processed junk, even though it does taste really nice. But did you know that like exercise, diet has the power to slow aging? Studies have found that extreme caloric restriction or fasting-like diets lowered inflammation, insulin resistance, and other markers associated with aging. Biological age and immune system aging were slowed as well. But honestly, food is one of the greatest things in this life, and it should be enjoyed. So extreme caloric restriction or being on the brink of starvation most days is of course a no-go if you can avoid it. However, there is an alternative. You get the best of both worlds. There is something known as intermittent fasting, which I have been using for the past seven years. It's basically dividing your day into an eating window and a fasting window. So for instance, if you use the 16-8 protocol or the lean gains protocol, which is what I use, you'd wake up in the morning, let's say eight o'clock, and then put off your first meal for four to six hours and have your first meal around that 12 to 2 p.m. mark. You get some of the health benefits of caloric restriction while still being able to live like a human. The plus side is that because your eating window is so short, you're probably gonna be in a caloric deficit, so it's easier to lose weight. Interestingly, in animal studies, the ketogenic diet, which is where you have little to no carbohydrates, has been found to enhance longevity and health through influencing multiple aging and metabolic pathways. Step number five is sleep. It is common knowledge that if you don't get a decent night's sleep, then you will look pretty dreadful the next day. Not only that, but you will feel terrible. Eye bags and dark circles under the eyes are a cardinal sign of poor sleep, but also can make you look older. During sleep, blood flow to the skin increases, collagen regenerates, and repairs damage from the sun. If you were to have two days of inadequate sleep, this would result in visible changes to the skin. After four weeks of inadequate sleep, your body stops repairing that damage. 
If this continues for three months, your skin will age significantly. Most adults require at least seven to eight hours of sleep a night. So these are the physical effects of sleep deprivation, but there are physiological effects as well. A toxin called beta amyloid accumulates in the brain during the waking hours. This beta amyloid toxin makes up the amyloid plaques found in those with Alzheimer's. And it is only during sleep that this toxin is cleared. So not only will sleep make you look younger, it will make you feel younger as well. A bonus tip is to use something known as microneedling. This is exactly as the name suggests. Tiny needles make tiny holes in the top layer of your skin. This microtrauma causes the skin to produce more elastin and collagen. This microtrauma stimulates the skin's healing process. I've been using microneedling to treat my acne scars. It also evidently has an anti-aging effect as well. Now I hope that you found this video useful and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found.